welcome to my kitchen. I'm Claire. This is a Meals of the Week video where I go through everything that I serve my family of four in the UK for dinner of an evening. We try and do everything homemade if we can, as much as possible anyway. Um, oh, that was a big sigh. Pretty much everything we make is gluten-free too. And the aim of this really is just to share some ideas. Please let me know what your family have been enjoying this week for dinner. Give me some ideas too. I appreciate it. And just cook together and have a bit of fun. If you enjoy these sorts of videos, please do consider subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. And apparently only 40% or so of people watching this are subscribed. So um, please, thank you. Let's get on with the meals. Hello, I am trying to make the most today out of these tiny little bags of diced lamb. And I love diced lamb, but it is really expensive. So what I'm gonna do is make some pies, some for dinner tonight, and some that Ed can take and reheat at work. So uh, I've got my lamb. I found one rogue tin of black beans in the cupboard as well. I've got some garlic, some pepper, mixed herbs, um, bay leaf. I've got a parsnip, a couple of leeks, carrots, homegrown turnip. And we're going to bung all of this in there. Oh, where have I put it? Here. I don't like these gravy granules, so I'm going to use these up in here as well. And we're going to pop it on the slow cooker for many hours. It's currently in the morning. And then later on, I've got some pre-made puff pastry. So we'll do little pie pastry thingies. Mummy, what's yeah. this? That's lamb. Okay, let's get it all chopped up and in the slow cooker, shall we? Excuse the washing machine in the background. I really stretched this slow cooker to capacity. It will all, as everything cooks down a bit, sink down. So I have topped up with a bit of water. I did chuck in a stock cube as well. And now I'm just going to put it on low for, I don't know, five, six hours. Maybe high, actually. Maybe high. Let's do high and we'll come back to it. Well, here we go. I've thickened everything with some cornstarch and um, I did add some more of the gravy granules as well because they thicken things up too. So I've got a nice thick gravy. It smells lovely. And what I also have is, I picked these up off Amazon. Not very eco-friendly, I know, disposable pie dishes, but they are the perfect size. Uh, we've got a rendition of wheels on the bus going on in the background for your viewing pleasure. They're the perfect size for a lunch pie for Ed. So I'm going to fill some of these with this, let it cool down a bit, and then we'll sort out the crust. Oh. I am definitely no pastry chef. Mommy, you need to put it in a bowl. It needs to be put in a lot of places. Right, let's get in the oven and see how we do. Every time I do the pastry too small, forgetting that it shrinks. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Wrapped up in some tin foil and frozen, they'll be absolutely grand for him for work. Or maybe not work, because the foil... Tra I don't know. I've made small pies that we're going to have at a later date. And there's today's dinner. It is fully cooked and golden brown. It's just my lighting is doing something weird. Okay, and we've got new potatoes and homemade, homemade, homegrown runner beans. Let's get some butter on these and then we're good to go. There we go. Homemade lamb, black bean, etc. pie, etc. pie. Let's just call it that. Mmm, smells good. And for pudding, I got mini meringues from Asda. I've got some squirty cream and I've got some raspberries. I'm very excited. It's sort of a... A lazy lady's eating mess. And yes, I'm using a Bing bowl because all the rest of my bowls are in the dishwasher. It's fine. Hello, another day, another eat up meal. So what do we have here? It's a bit of everything. Oh, it's not really. It's mung bean dal that I pulled out of the freezer. And so I've just reheated that on the hob. I've done some plain basmati rice. We've got some mango chutney. Ed and Freya have naan. I do not, sadly. And this, after the um, rave review I got for my vegetarian lasagna last week, I thought I would treat Ed and give him the last of the pork that was left over from the pork crackling joint we had for Sunday lunch. So that is our dinner today. And I have been busy as well doing some more purees for Lilith. She's not quite as hot on the finger food as Freya was. Freya was like, baby led weaning, I've got this. Lilith's a little bit slower to adapt to it, but she is gestationally younger, if that makes sense. So I've um, got some pureed strawberries and some parsnip. 
odd combination, but that's what I had in the fridge. It's another day, another dinner. I need to wipe the outside of my crock pot. I've got half a bottle of barbecue sauce in the fridge that needs using up and Sweet Baby Ray's is gluten free. I have some chicken that I have been defrosting. Um, oh, tiny little chicken wing tip. So what I'm going to do is combine these. I could make my own barbecue sauce, but why when I have this that needs using up? And I'm going to bung this in the slow cooker for three to four hours on high. And yes, I know what you're thinking. There is nothing sadder than soggy chicken skin that's been in the slow cooker. What we'll do at the very end is I'll just pop them in the air fryer for a few minutes just to crisp up the skin so that we don't have a, a sad, soggy situation going on as well. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Let's get it all in there. I tell you what, there's nothing quite so off-putting as massaging... Uh, barbecue sauce into raw chicken is there right on we go let's go feed that baby now for the potatoes these are fresh out the garden thoroughly washed i'm gonna pop these in the microwave for two minutes trust me there's method in the madness here these are slightly too big to just chuck in the air fryer as is that's why we microwave them for a couple of minutes just to just to see them on their way a little bit of oil and then, apologies for the shaky camera work here. A little bit of food seasoning. Not the whole packet, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna to toss this all together. I might need two hands for this. And pop it in the air fryer for 18 minutes at 200. Let's see how we're doing. Oh yes. Here we go. I ran out of time to do anything exciting veg wise. So I've just got a little bit of salad. Not big salad eaters in this family. Um, Ed and Freya tend to prefer cooked veg. So I've just cut some off the bone for Freya. Potatoes will have various sauces available on the table, but look how cute these are. I grew these, there are more, they're hiding in the pram because Freya has made friends with them and takes them everywhere she goes. These are Jill B Little pumpkins, they're ornamental. And I think this is an acorn squash, I could be wrong. I'm sure someone will happily correct me, please do. Um, they're so cute. Yay! But that's our dinner today. Okay, let's let's go eat. Hi! Today I've done something I've never done. Uh, never done? Well, I have done it before, but I rarely do. I've forgotten to pull something out the freezer for dinner. I don't know what I'm going to make, and I've just seen on Fray's nursery app that she hasn't really had a very substantial dinner. So on the way to collect her, we're stopping off at Aldi, and we're going to see what bargains we can find. Right, let's have a quick look. 7 I spent. I got some 30% off salad, some of it's for the tortoise, some of it's to go with our dinner. Fred and I, we have these down to 199 venison kofta. I'm very excited. I don't think they're going to be good for Freya because um, hers is quite spicy, but they are gluten free. So I'm going to do her some chicken nuggets and these for me and Ed. I got... sweet potatoes and do some sweet potato mash and finally yeah but the cat food's not for me ignore that right here we go then i just um did the kofkas and the the chicken nuggets that's the words i'm looking for in the air fryer some sweet potato mash some salad little yogurt and mint dressing slash dip and i might put some balsamic vinegar on my salad as well and that's dinner tonight Yes, I have put a couple of chicken nuggets on Egg's plate. There were too many in the bag for Freya, but not enough to save for an extra meal. And, you know, we don't want the poor lad feeling left out, do we? Hello, it's time for another dinner. What are we doing today? I had a craving for egg fried rice. So I cooked some rice um, earlier today and I've had it chilling in the fridge. I've got this that I'm going to fry everything off in. This is pork fat from Sunday Roast. So never throw that away. That's good stuff. Oh, little Bob. And uh, what am I gonna do? I've got this really cheap ham that I got from Aldi that I pulled out the freezer and it doesn't look the nicest. So I think I'm gonna fry that up and use some of that in here. And um, I have an egg, obviously, egg fried rice. Got some gluten-free soy sauce. I've got some sesame oil. And what have I got here? I've got some garlic, um, some ginger, some homegrown turnips, some peppers, carrots, and onion gonna fry everything off add it all together and let's meet back here in about oh three and a half minutes maybe slightly longer before you accuse me of um stealing things off our neighbor's garden 
She has a dog. Toddzilla. <laughs> we made yet more uh, courgette muffins, zucchini muffins, whatever you want to call them. I'm still trying to use those up. So we have cake, even if it's seen better days. And there is my finished egg fried rice. Just a one pot wonder there. That's, that's all we're doing today. Right, on tonight's episode of Let's Empty This Godforsaken Freezer, and we have haggis. I've got a gluten-free one for me, so it'll be leftovers, and a normal one for Ed and Frey. Yes, she does like haggis. Um, so we're going to have that with some mashed potato, some peas, and some gravy. And I am, I'm sorry to the good people of Scotland, um, I'm very sorry. I am actually originally from Glasgow before anyone comes for me, so I feel like I, I get a bit of grace for that. I am going to cook this in the microwave, so I'm on a rush, okay? So just go with it. Here we go with the dulcet tones of the octonauts in the background. Uh, we keep pretending to be peso at the moment and bandaging everything. It's good fun. We have some haggis. It's um, sweet potato and normal potato mash. I don't have any neeps, so there's no neeps and tatties. Tatties are there in, in some form. What I'm saying is this is a very inauthentic way of serving haggis, but I don't care. This is how we like it, and we're eating it. So I've got some gluten-free gravy as well there, made extra thick as it should be, and that is our dinner. So that's our final meal of the week. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do subscribe. Thank you. Have a lovely weekend. You take care. Bye.